Hey folks, so let's talk about how to do density calculations. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to make sure that we understand how to get to the right formula. So remember that density is equal to mass over volume. Okay, well, I also can solve for mass and I can solve for volume, so that it doesn't matter which two that I have, I can always find the third one. So we know about this one. Let's start with that same formula, density equals mass over volume, and let's multiply each side by volume. Remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. And what that does is if I, if I look here, volume gets canceled out over here because it's on the top and on the bottom. It doesn't get canceled out on the other side, so what that means is volume times density is equal to mass. That's my second one. Okay. Well, if I know that, I can take it, bring it down, volume times density equals mass, and I've solved for density, I've solved for volume, or excuse me, mass, now I need to solve for volume. So if I divide both sides by density, okay, clearly we see that density will, cal will cancel out here, and what I'm left with is volume is equal to mass over density. So what are the three different equations that you would want to use? Well, here's the one for finding density. Here's the one for finding mass. And here's the one for finding volume. Depending on what you're given, okay, if the problem gives you volume and density and asks for mass, obviously if this is number one, and this is number two, and this is number three, in that case you'd use equation number two. If the problem said, well, here is your mass and here is your density, what's the volume, then you would use equation number three. Okay, And of course, traditionally, if you're given the mass and the volume and you need to calculate the density, you would use equation number one. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have for uh, calculating an actual problem. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I'll call up a new sheet here. All right, let's go again for our nice blue color. Here is our problem. 22.1 milliliters of a liquid with density uh, 2.2 grams per milliliter. What is, and you're probably guessing, the mass? So that's our problem. Okay. Well, if that's our problem, what I know is that I have volume and density. Okay. So if you refer back to what I have, let's go back to the previous. Okay. So you know that you have volume and you know you have density. Okay, so what you want to find is you want to find mass. Okay, which equation are you going to use? Well, we know that the equation for that is going to be mass is equal to density times volume. Okay, so if I have that and I plug in my numbers up here, okay, so I'm going to get mass is equal to the density, which is 2.2 grams per milliliter times the volume, which is 22.1 milliliters. And that is going to equal 48.6. But what are my units for this? Well, since you carried your units through, you notice that milliliters is on the top here, so it's going to cancel out with these milliliters, and I don't have anything that's going to cancel out my grams, so I'm left with grams, 
Is that a reasonable answer for this particular problem? And I check it and I go, it's asking for the mass. And so yes, grams is a reasonable answer because I'd better be left with some kind of a mass unit. Okay, and so that is how I would go about doing these problems. Um, it doesn't matter which one you're given, you have the three formulas. Make sure you're able just to calculate through. Make sure you do your math right, obviously, but it's very, very, very important you remember to cancel the units that need to be canceled and uh, make sure that the units that you are left with in your answer make sense for what the question is asking.